Hello YouTube, in this video I will be going over how to Odo. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. First, I will be going over what characters have an Odo and what characters don't have an Odo. Last does not have an Odo. Elise's first, second, third, and fourth job has an Odo. Meaning every single job has one. Ryan does not have an Odo. Army's third job has an Odo. Ronan's first, second, and third job has an Odo. Larry's has an Odo, but it's more special, and I won't be going over that in this video because I don't know how to do it, and I'm not at Larry main, and this really doesn't fit in with every other character's Odo. Amy's third and fourth job has an Odo. Jen's third job has an Odo. Seacart first job has an Odo. Marie's second job has an Odo. With her second job. And if you have the, the fourth and peace skill. You can bypass the limit on how much you can shoot the gun. Dio has an Odo with weapon force. Which is a Z down. But that's not really important. Because no one does it. And it really is not good. Zero does not have an Odo. Lade does not have an Odo. Rufus does not have an Odo. Ren does have an Odo. Ashin doesn't have one. Lime doesn't have one. Ido doesn't have one. Vegas and Uno will not have an Odo. From what I remember, they don't have one. So, I would highly recommend, if you have Relata Kuna unlocked, and you can get past this super fast, I would highly recommend going here, because this is where I learned to get consistent. If you don't, then you can go to training mode. I will show you guys how... To get set up there. But yeah. I would recommend as well. To use the character that you're trying to learn the Odo with. Because I know at least his second and first job. Has like the easiest Odo to learn. Rodan's second job is super easy as well. Because the time to press down and Z. Isn't really strict on how the time works. You see, I can just press them all. I can press it at the same time. That's how um, easy it is. But I would recommend learning how to do it that way first. I would recommend doing down and then Z. Because that's how you get more consistent. And that's how you can, you can do it for longer. If your character is doing this. Oops. Doing that. That means you're pressing down too slow. And that means you're pressing Z too slow. Oh, that means you're pressing Z too slow. My bad. If your character's doing this, that means you're pressing Z too fast. So you just need to slow down and then press down again. Down Z. Down Z. You can press down and then press Z fast. But make sure you... Oh, that doesn't work for me at least. You can just press down and then Z. Them immediately after you press down. But make sure you feel your hand pressing down before you press Z. You can even slide your finger down. As you can hear my keyboard, I believe. But once you get consistent, you can just do that slow. Learn how to do it. And then you can start doing it faster and then faster and faster. Boom, boom. So this is how I would Odo in like an actual game with second job. Because I am a lot... I, I'm experienced with it and second job is super easy. So once you press down and you press Z, you immediately press down Z again. You just do, keep on doing it over and over and over and over. The reason why I say press down and Z, and Z first and not down and Z at the same time, it's because you won't be able to do this as consistent as I can. It's a lot more easier when you does do down Z. But yeah, I mastered this. Second job is super easy. With Ronan's first job, you can do it as well. Just start off with down and then Z. Boom. Boom. 
I'd say, set a goal for yourself. If you could do five at a time, that's really good. Like, that's probably I, um, average. One, two, three, four, five. I would say that's pretty average at, like, a beginner's level. If you can do, like, two. Titles, like, remember the feeling of when you press down Z. And try to remember, like, what exactly and how exactly you did that. Once you can get five... You're probably like at like a good beginner's level. Once you get to like ten, I think ten is like the necessary number to need to actually learn how to auto. Like I would say you're pretty decent at it if you can just do ten. Ten and above means you can practically do it with any character. But yeah, even with first job I can do this super fast and consistent at a long time. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, if you want to do it in training mode, um, third job run is super hard. So I'm going to go to at least the second job. If you do want to learn, like, the basics and you want to try practice mode, you can just do it here. Also, you can hold forward and press down Z at the same time. That also works. Boom, 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 boom. The reason why holding forward and Z is super important as well, because sometimes monsters don't stick to like the exact location where you hit them. Like for floor eight and tower disappearance, sometimes Gardoson will move slightly in time you do an Odo. So holding forward will help. You see how she moves with him, but you see how Elise's move the direction that I'm heading um the dummy. This keeps your combo and this keeps your momentum going and it also keeps your MP from going up as well. It's very effective to learn, especially if you are a PvP -er as well. This works in P uh, PvP and in dungeons. But if you are a PvP or which is the majority of my views aren't, you can do it if there are a character is above you as well. So that is a good technique if you are ever playing Elven Forest. You can just hit someone from above you. That will just make them fear you from going above you ever again. Because they know you can just hit them from the top. Um, what else? You guys know I don't play Amy. So, even with Amy, if you press XX to do our, her first X and go to this phase, her lightsaber has an Odo as well. Boom. The timing's a little bit different, but it's all it is is just you pressing down and then you pressing Z at a different time. Like, you have to do it a little bit slower. So, if you do it fast, you would just get a combo attack. You see? This is like the exact same sound and the exact same way how I would do it with Elises or Ronin. That's how I'm getting the um, hits a little bit too fast. That means I just need to slow down and press Z. That's all it means. So like I said before, when you're hitting multiple times, that's mean you're doing it too fast. Uh, who else has a no though? Lyrie's dirt job. Lyrie's dirt job is difficult, just like Rona's dirt job. But I would say Lyrie's dirt job is the most difficult because when you press Z down, she does that little hand animation. Cause that's actually a skill that she has. That's that skill. So, how do you with her, then? You just gotta take your time and try to be as consistent as possible. Else, that's gonna happen. Down Z, down Z. So, I would probably say this. Listen to the hit sounds. So, it actually does um, cause a lot of concentration to do.
even though I can't really do it well. Well, I don't play Dirt Drop much in the ways. But with practice, I can actually master this. Because it's not that hard. You just gotta learn consistency. Um, Jen's Dirt Drop has it as well. So if you do play Jen, I know a lot of people love Jen. You can do it. Um, he don't really have a bad timing. You just gotta press down and then Z. Like how I would do with like Ronan's first job. You press down first, and then Z, and then you just keep on repeating that. This is why I don't recommend doing it at the same time, because you won't be able to learn muscle memory well. For PvP, a lot of gents do this as well at like the t um, top area when they're above you. Similar to like Army's, not Army's, at least his second job. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about this guide. If you need more help, let me know. If I'm ever free, I could actually do like a live coaching maybe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.